Hola Taurus Sun, Aries Moons, welcome to your 2021 Sun Moon reading. If this resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And my 2020 Sun Moon readings are still in my playlist, so go check those out. I'm doing these in order of requests and comments. Be sure to post yours up. Uh, the first portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. And the second portion of this will be the Vimeo link below, where I will pull clarifiers and we will have a deeper interpretation of those cards. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Also check out my playlist. In there, you will ha I have what is your ideal career based on your Midheaven sign, and what is your compatibility with your partner's Sun sign, which is a work in progress. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's hear about the traits of your sun moon sign. So, Taurus, Sun, Aries, Moons, you have strong convictions and will fight for what you believe in, especially when people try to convince you otherwise. Composed on the outside, you have a fiery driven spirit internally. No standing in life is acceptable other than being number one and your determination makes a secure and comfortable environment, makes that secure and com comfortable environment happen. Your Taurus caution tames your impulsive Aries nature. In relationships, you like people who speak their mind are totally loyal and completely honest. Being more open to your partner's opinions would serve you well, as would toning down your temperamental nature. Your ideal mate is someone who seeks a long-term relationship and appreciates the stability and comfort you can provide them. In career, you are natural born leaders and work tirelessly to achieve goals in the workplace. You believe in hard work, rewards and results, and take on any challenge. Looking to take yeah, take on any, I was looking at my grammar, I'm like, is that correct? Um, looking to advance up the corporate ladder, you easily eliminate the competition. So, Holy Spirit Angels, of Divine Guides Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Taurus Sun, Aries Moons for the year 2021? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher crown, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages for their greater good? Any messages you have, Taurus Sun, Aries Moon, for the year 2021 we thank you and greatly appreciated what do you see for january february march for taurus sun aries moons we have the judgment card in reverse what do you see for april may june we have the eight of cups in the upright what do you see for july august september we have the four of pentacles and what do you see for October, November, December? All's well that ends well for you guys, right? So we start off at the beginning of the year. It seems to me as though um, you, you're considering whether or not to reconnect or do something or stay someplace. Um, and you decided not to. Now, I am gonna say that um, I don't feel like you use clear judgment in regards to this. So maybe you weren't very clear or maybe you judge something based on, um, you know, ba based on wanting to, you know, feel a false sense of security or um, it could be anything in that regard. I just thought of like false sense of security, but I feel like whatever you decided to do, um, your perspective was awesome. You weren't judging the situation accordingly. Now, we do know that when it comes to you guys, when you kind of decide on something wrong or right, you're gonna follow through on it, okay? So I feel like you made a decision. It might not have been the best decision. Um, you might have been a, a little clouded in your judgment, a little bit stubborn, um, and decided you're gonna follow through no matter what. Because in April, May, June, I see you walking away from something. So you decided, I'm done. This is no longer serving me. I'm out of here. Um, and, but I'm still getting that it could, it could have been done a different way, um, or it could have been resolved or it could have been figured out, but I, I keep on getting, and I don't mean to just because you guys are Tauruses, but I am genuinely feeling this obstinacy, this stubbornness, like, well, I decided I was going to do this, so I need to follow through with this. And I'm not saying that that kicks you in the butt later on in the year. I mean, it ends up working out fine, but I'm just saying in the beginning of the year, just think a little bit more about it. Could it be handled a little bit differently? Could you come out of it looking a little 
better than um, than than you did anything kind of in that regard so you leave you're out of here you're not going back it's not doing anything for you you've decided there's something better out there for you now in July August September during this period of time you're being very frugal so you're just kind of like holding on to your money being very careful not to be too spendy um, holding on to your possessions um, because you kind of need to do that because I feel like you left something here and while you're kind of searching for the other thing you need to be very careful about um, things in a practical sense so you know holding on to every single penny and making sure your money's working for you making sure you have a roof over your head um, bills are getting paid and things like that so it works out for you because in October, November, December, um, this is about security. This is about wealth. Uh, this is about, this could be, a lot of times this has to do with family. So it could be inheritance. It could be family property of some sort, or it could just be that you found something that's very stable and very long term in a practical and financial sense. So um, it did end up working out for you. And I know you guys love hearing that. Um, <laughs> But like I said, just be a little bit careful in the beginning of the year that you're a little more clear about it. I, I feel more it's like how you kind of handle it or how you kind of leave it um, that you should be a little more attentive to. So that's what I have for you all. I'm gonna be going into the Vimeo. Make sure you click below. I'll be pulling clarifiers. We'll go into these more in depth. If it did resonate, consider a personal reading and send me an email. Make sure you check out my playlist in there. Are your 2020 sun moon readings? What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe and or donate otherwise i will see you in vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye